Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, we're going to be talking about jacket sleeve buttons. All right, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And while you're down there, make sure to grab my free 47-page ebook on men's style. And if you already have the free 47-page ebook on men's style, maybe you'll want to check out my premium ebook. It's not free, but it's 600 plus pages of awesome content, 400 images, 14 hours of audio, and I got you know everyone tells me it's it's pretty darn awesome. The best part is it's continuously updated. So uh, and, and there's a number of other bonuses there that come with it. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. All right. The question that came in, and I had a gentleman ask me, what are the, the buttons on the jacket sleeve for? Should I just remove them? So this is an interesting question because obviously he's asking it of a jacket in which the buttons are just there for decoration. And it takes you, you have to know a little bit of the history of why there are buttons here, and it makes sense, and you understand why not to remove them, I guess, unless they're incredibly ugly and gaudy, and then perhaps you want to replace them with nicer buttons. But the buttons and the history behind here, I mean, this is a hundred, hundred plus year old history, but the idea was that there was a time when all men pretty much wore jackets, and it was something that it didn't matter if you're going off into combat or if you were just out about town or if you're going out to even work on your own land, you actually always donned a jacket and a hat. I mean, these were pieces of gear that were protective. They were made from heavier materials, a bit rougher, and it was just normal wear for people to take this stuff out there. So because it was normal wear, it needed to be functional. It needed to serve, you know, nowadays it's more of a, it sets you apart in business. It says that you're coming to the, you know, you're here to do work. It's more for the appearance so much. But there were times when, let's say, a field surgeon, whenever he was out there and he was wearing a jacket and he had to be dressing a wound, or there was a gentleman he was going to be doing work on, on you know, out, out on his land, and he would actually want to roll up his sleeves, and that was the advantage of this: is you didn't have to take your jacket off, which actually taking your jacket off in public was akin to stripping down to your underwear. But he could roll his sleeves up, similar to this. I mean, everyone, I guess, had their different ways, but in the same way that you could roll a shirt back, and all of a sudden he wouldn't be getting, I mean, because laundry was a pain in the backside back then. It, it kind of still is for many people right now, but you can imagine having to wash everything by hand. And so you were very careful not to get blood, not to get dirt, not to get grime, mud, anything on your clothing. Well, you tried to, you know, not, not get as much there. You wanted this to last. Clothing as a percentage of your budget was more. So what you had was higher quality usually, and it you took better care of it. Uh, so that's really why the buttons are there. Nowadays, it's it, most off-the-rack jackets, they don't make the functional. And the reason they don't make the functional sleeves is because you can only adjust these so much. Really, the amount I can adjust this, adjust this is at the most an inch, usually though about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And whenever a person buys a jacket, off the rack. They want to have, and most manufacturers want to give you the leeway to adjust up to two inches. So they usually put it in quite a bit of fabric that allows you to let that sleeve out or to bring it up in. It never looks exactly right, and because they're trying to go for the lowest common denominator, they're trying to fit as many body types as possible. The sleeves are oftentimes going to be really wide and things like that. But again, what they're going for is for this to fit as many body types, and by just sewing the buttons on the outside, making these non-functional, it allows the sleeves to be adjusted quite a bit, and you can just take the buttons off and move them. So now they're for decoration, and that's why this question makes sense. However, I would tell a gentleman to go ahead and leave them on for tradition's sake, but now that you understand this, be out there looking for jackets that you can find perhaps at thrift stores or now at higher end men's retail stores that actually have working sleeve. Uh, you're oftentimes not going to roll this up, but it's a very interesting bit of history and goes, uh, when you start to understand men's clothing, I'll actually link to an article in which I talk about history in men's clothing. I think when you understand the history behind men's clothing, it gives you the confidence to wear it because you understand that this is something that protected your father and your grandfather. Well, maybe not your father so much, but your grandfather and your great-grandfather. And knowing that, it's a, uh, I don't know, it, it just, it, it really, 
makes it easier to put on the jacket and to wear it with confidence. Okay, this has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. I will see you guys in the comments. And if you want to go check out our Men's Style Q&A website, I'm going to link to that below as well. That's a great place if you've got a good question to go ask it. And the best questions and answers will rise to the top. We've got a little bit of a voting system there. It's much better than YouTube comments, which are broke. And <laughs> it's very hard for me to sort through them. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.